Good morning, everybody. We're back in sunny Blighty, and uh, <laughs> it's been pouring down with rain all night. It's right now, in fairness. Uh, and here I am, as is my one uh, Mitsubishi Yusin. There's two Yusins in me on Keynes. I'm at the smaller one. Uh, ready to pick up, well, I say it's smaller, they're all huge. Uh, ready to pick up part of their conditioning units to take to Doncaster and then to Lincoln. Three drops, 200 quid. Should be done, I'd like to hope, by 11, 12 o'clock ish. Probably a bit later. And then it's hope to get a job home, a decent job home, day's wages. Kind of break myself into it a bit gently, to be honest with you. So I only did the one job yesterday, um, but it was the good one. It was none eating and back, only 180. And then I had to visit a mate. So anyway, enough about me, let's talk about you. Right, so I thought, um, I've done this thing, I've tried to, well, I've, I've contacted a few of the shippers and I've tried to get a list of things that we do that upsets them. You know, like when they're on the phone and so I thought, well, if I can get a list of things that we do, maybe we could do them less and maybe that'll make you more popular and that was it. So the first one that came up, colo I've had to write them down, uh, co-loading. Now, co-loading is fine as long as you clear it with both parties. Nine times out of ten, they don't like it, but... Um, what you can do, what I sometimes do, is if you've got a box on board and you've got another pod potential one, you ring them and say, is that my job, if I can get it for this money? And they say, yes, they right, I've just got to ring the other guy and double check to make sure it's okay with them. Because otherwise what happens is, <laughs> you say you're doing one job and, um, and then you don't tell them, and then you go off to get the second job and, and, he's, and my mate says, this is, I'll watch them. I'll watch them on the tracker. And they're supposed to be going around the 25 up towards Milton Keynes. And then sure enough, they're shooting off towards Guildford. And you think, he's got to pick another job up. And that means he's got to be late for my job. And that is the next one that comes up. It's like being late. If you kind of, I think you kind of co-loading isn't so much the issue as long as it doesn't hurt anybody. You still are not allowed to do it unless you get the permission. But as long as, it don't, as, long as you, do, you pick up two boxes and you get them both there on time, and the customer doesn't turn around and go, what's that box doing on my van? Everybody's happy. But the problem is you take the risk. So co-loading and being late is something that upsets them. Another one, this is a winner, um, saying you're five minutes away. This really winds people up. Where are you? I'm five minutes away. And then they ring you back 20 minutes later going, where are you? You go, I'm five minutes away. Tell them the truth. It's much easier. So uh, what I do is when they ring up, they say, where are you? I go, I am 20 miles and 31 minutes away. And I just look at the sat nav, it's sitting in front of me. Um, and then, they can, then <laughs> I had one guy ring me once and he said, you'd, but you said you'd be there in an hour. I said, no, I said, I might be there in an hour but I'm driving through central London and that's if all the roads were clear and sure enough they're not it took me an hour and a half to get there you got the ump a little bit but I said well you knew where I was when you booked me you booked me in Camden you sent me through to Elephant it might only be three miles away but it's an hour and a half if the traffic's bad as it was got the job off it was fine um, other things drivers that don't know where they are yeah I'm guilty of this <laughs> <laughs> people ring up and um, don't get me wrong if I'm in the southeast of England or London or Bournemouth I've got a rough idea but sometimes they'll say where are you and I'll go I don't know I mean it makes some sense I suppose to work out where you are before you ring in but sometimes by the time you've worked out where you are and this is to pick up you're ringing the job sold so I sometimes ring in and I go Look, I'm not 100% sure where I am but I've got to be within 30 miles because it's got to be 30 miles on the, um, on the app or within 10 miles on the app. The good thing about the app is you can click on the map and you can go, they say, where are you? You can go, I'm five miles away, I'm 10 miles away, I'm, I'm half hour away. And then if you put it into the sat nav and it comes up more, I sometimes ring them back and go, well, it said I was 25 minutes away, but I've just punched it in, it's 40 minutes away. And they go, well, 15 minutes don't make a lot of difference, but keeping them informed, Things that seem to upset them is lying to them and not keeping them informed. If you tell them the truth and you tell them all the way along, they've got somewhere they can deal with that one. Uh, what else we got? Um, PODs on the back of a McDonald's receipt. Yeah, there's no need for that. I've got a little link on the website or I can get you one. You can just print off your own PODs or you can get yourself a book for six quid. Just get yourself a little book and get it written down. No one wants to see the result on the back of a bus ticket. It doesn't look very professional when they've got to send it through to the customer. And the final one I had off one guy, bless him, my mate Mick, he said, professional drivers that don't want to go into central London. Well, 
I don't want to go into central London. I'm driving to Lincoln today. It's all open fields and blue skies, and yeah, you can park over there, mate. It's not like, oh, it's no right turn, it's no right turn. Oh, I've missed it, I've got to go around a block. Oh, it's going to take me 20 minutes to go around a block. Oh, it's a red route. Oh, it's a camera. Oh, I'm in a box junction. It's not like that. It's easy, it's nice. Having said that, if you're going to go into central London, there's no reason why not. Just charge them. Yeah, it's going to be another £25 because of the ULEZ and because of the um, um, the congestion. And I know the job's only, I know it might only be 30 miles, but it's still going to take me two hours, so it's 150 quid. And when they turn around, some people will go, yep, fair enough. And some people will go, oh, yeah, you only want to give £30. Let someone else do it for £30. Don't give yourself the grief. It's just not worth it. Anyway, back in Blighty. Hope you're all doing well, and um, yeah, I'm gonna wait for the fork truck to come out of door D there, get this on, and away I go. Uh, have a wonderful day, everybody. Take care, take money.